Welcome technology device viewers to this week's product spotlight. Today we are joined by Mike Smalls, the CEO of Hoopla, a visual engagement platform. Mike, how are you doing today? Yeah, doing great. Thank you. That's great. Mike, describe Hoopla in one sentence. Hoopla is a, an employee en engagement and motivation platform. Um, we broadcast key company events and celebration events throughout the uh, organization through TV, mobile, and web. Great. Well, what differentiates Hoopla from its competitors? Yeah, in, in, in a large part, we're forging new ground here. I mean, we, we take the best of sort of digital signage, uh, data from back-end systems like Salesforce, and uh, gamification techniques and combine it together into a really uh, a sort of a play-to-win kind of environment. Um, our competitors often require their employees to log into systems just to get access to information. We broadcast it, push it out, um, and make it very prominent throughout a company. All right. Well, let's talk about your ideal customer. We're focused on the mid-market, um, although we have lots of customers who are large enterprises as well. But our sweet spot is the mid the mid market customer, with uh, you know multiple offices um, where they want to engage employees and and motivate them and, and connect them throughout the uh, the organization and make sure people are aware of what's actually happening, celebrate key things, uh, recognize employees in real time. Great. Well, let's talk about price. What does pricing look like for Hoopla? Um, yeah, we have uh, real simple easy to understand pricing. We price it by the user per month, um, starting at around $15 a user per month. So it's real simple, straightforward. Um, a customer can go on our website, sign up, and be using the product in just uh, a, sh a few short minutes. Okay, let's talk limitations. What is a limitation for Hoopla? Yeah, so I would say, you know, there's, there's sort of a uh, theoretical limitation, which is our product amplifies the culture or the, uh, the the existing culture that a company has we won't fix that for a company right so um, what what we do is we allow people to sort of customize it and and take the culture or the um, the, the kinds of uh, communication that they have throughout the company and make that much better and stronger um, but it won't it won't fix all those problems for a company if they have issues there great well what is a best practice for implementing your product yeah, the best practices there are, um, you know, one, uh, it, it is real easy to get up and running. So there's there should be no like huge IT technical involvement in uh, in the process. But the best practices are to make sure that uh, you take advantage of the personalization aspects. Allow the end users to put their own videos and and customization songs, walk up songs. We have this great feature. But by allowing that to happen, it really makes the system very dynamic and, and engaging, and, and people just absolutely love it. But if you try to, try to um, you know, police it too much, it, it takes the joy out of the whole system. Thanks for joining me today, Mike. If you would like to find out more about Hoopla, check out our website, technologyadvice.com, where we can help you find the best technology to fit the needs for your business. Thanks for watching.